day and welcome to Storytime with Grandma Seidenberg. Today we will be reading the story of Old Robert and the Sea Silly Cats. I hope you enjoy. Each day Old Robert sailed the salty sea. There he is, sailing in his boat. Each night he docked his boat. Old Robert would not sail at night. There was scarce light. That means there was not a lot of light. There he is docking his boat. <laughs> so he prepared his supper of toast and buttered milk and counted the regular things in their regular place. Clean socks, a clock, my ship in the slip at the dock, one dish, one spoon, a slice of the silver moon. Oh, he made it into a poem. How sweet. There he is making the supper. All of his regular things in their regular spots. Old Robert gazed at the moon. He was silent. Must be that time. One evening there came a sound much like the wind. But it wasn't the wind. It was a cat dancing. Oh my. The cat spun round in a pale pink dress, light as a whisper, soft as a secret. Old Robert began to smile. Take a look at this cat. Oh, worrying about dancing in that pink dress. <laughs> my oh my. Then the cat asked politely, <clears throat> May I come in? Old Robert thought not. There was no room in the trim little boat for a cat to live. And that's that. And yet, and yet, old Robert said yes. And the cat came in. Old Robert prepared toast and buttered milk for two, then went to bed and gazed at the moon. It was bigger. There the cat is asking, may I come in? And there he is preparing dinner, not only for himself, but also for the cat. Oh, that's funny. As he drifted off to sleep, he counted the regular things in their regular place. Clean socks, a clock, my ship in the slip at the dock, one dish, one spoon, a wedge of the silver moon, and a cat in a wee little hammock. There are all the regular things in the regular place, and now there's a cat in a hammock. I like that hammock. It looks so much fun. The next night, as the cat danced round, there came a sound much like a foghorn. Do you know what a foghorn sounds like? <laughs> kind of like that. But it wasn't a foghorn. It was another cat singing. Have you ever heard a cat sing? My, oh my. The cat strummed a ukulele and sang a story of courage. He sang the story of love. So beautiful. There is the cat dancing. There's old Robert. And there is the singing cat. Look at him with his ukulele. Oh, that's so funny. I wonder if I could teach my cat how to play the ukulele. Then the cat asked, <clears throat> may I come in? Old Robert thought not. There was no room in the trim little boat for two cats to live. And that's that. And yet, and yet, Old Robert said yes, and the cat came in. So there's the cat asking, may I come in? And there they are on the boat. It's getting a little crowded, isn't it? It's gonna be a party boat in a minute. Old Robert prepared toast and buttered milk for three, then went to bed and gazed at the moon. It was bigger still. As he drifted off to sleep, old Robert counted the regular things in their regular place. Clean socks, a clock, my ship in the slip of the dock, one dish, one spoon, a chunk of the silver moon, and two cats in wee little hammocks. My oh my, there they all are. The next night, as the cats danced and sang, there came a sound much like the waves. Lap, smack, lap, smack, lap, smack. But it wasn't the waves. It was yet, you guessed it, another cat. Juggling clackety spoons and catching them neat on his ears, nose, cheeks, and tail. 
Ta-da! Wow, look at that cat juggle the spoons. He could start a circus. Old Robert laughed and even before the cat asked, Old Robert said yes, and the cat came in. Old Robert prepared toast and buttered milk for four and gazed at the moon. It was filling with gold. My, oh my. There he knows the cat's already gonna ask, so he just says, come on in. And there he is preparing the buttered milk for four. Three cats and him. He drifted off to sleep. Old Robert counted the regular things in their regular place. Clean socks o'clock, my ship in a slip at the dock, one dish, one spoon, half of the golden moon, and three cats in wee little hammocks. Oh, they are just so sweet. <laughs> Look at those little cats. Sound asleep. The next night, as his darling cat sang and danced and juggled, old Robert clapped for joy. What a merry din! Still the softest sound came through. Meow. Old Robert didn't wonder and neither did the cats. There was one more cat on the dock. There they are dancing and this is the one that's going. Meow. Also look, there is a dog driving that other boat. <laughs> Hilarious! I didn't know dogs knew how to drive boats. But this cat was just a cat, a scrawny cat with ears too big and a neck too long who didn't dance or sing or juggle. It just sat looking at old Robert. Old Robert scooped her up. This smallest cat with sea green eyes didn't do a single thing, just a regular cat. There they all are looking at the cat, wondering, hmm, what does this cat do? And old Robert is picking up the cute little kitty. He took her in and prepared toast and buttered milk for five. Afterwards, he shook his head. There wasn't room for one more hammock. So old Robert cradled her upon his chest. <laughs> Look at that. There are the other three cats and this one gets to snuggle right in. Oh, that's so lovely. Do you have a cat? Does it snuggle with you? What about a dog? The moon filled up and then spilled across the sky and sprinkled down upon the waves, winking at old Robert. Go! Old Robert did not sail at night, and yet, and yet, today seemed right. There he is looking at the moon. Look how big that moon is. My oh my. And so it was, old Robert sailed away at night by the light of the golden moon with three cats in wee little hammocks and one there upon his chest. There are the cats in the hammock. And there is his new first mate. What a beautiful story. And that's the end of Old Robert and the Sea Silly Cats. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Have a wonderful weekend. Ta-ta!